In our two aviation martyrs, airline operators in Nigeria say it has given three days' notice to shut down operations over lack of aviation fuel, as this was the outcome of a meeting which scheduled by the House of Representatives, oil marketers, and airline operators or shortage in hike of aviation fuel. Speaking before the Special House Committee, the representative of the airline operators and the chief executive officer of Airpeace, Alan Unyema, said they can no longer afford the product anymore and will be forced to shut down. On his part, the group managing director of the NNPC, Millie Carey, said that at the moment, 19 oil companies are in possession of 88 million liters of aviation fuel in the country, assuring that the NNPC will do everything possible in ensuring that the scarcity is resolved for the overall interest of Nigerians. Uh, also, we agreed that uh, in the interim, uh, between now and the three days that they will close the basis surprising. Uh, because the lowest we have seen as at this morning is 445 and another high of 605. There's a, customer, there's a trader that is selling at 630. We don't think this is normal and therefore we discounted it. So without any signs around it or logic, uh, let me emphasize, we agree that uh, they will sell for the next three days at 500 naira to the liter and on day three or day four, they will switch to the new formula that everyone can, uh, can access and can compute. And lastly, uh, as requested by the Airline Operators Association of Nigeria, uh, they will be granted license by the authority to import petroleum products, uh, particularly ATK, so that they can have a way of benchmarking the sales from other customers. They can also bring in cheaper products uh, whenever it is possible. I will thank you. I will thank the public. And uh, even though uh, this, at 500, our unit cost per seat, now we come down to about 85,000. If we remain at 500 units cost per seat for a 110 seater aircraft, that is the truth. Bearing, uh, what do you call it, insurance and other things, that is our pain. We don't, we are, I wish we could buy this fuel at 200 so that Nigerian passengers and everyone will be able to afford flying. That is our predicament. So the public should understand if there is a shift from what they are paying now and what they are going to pay soon. Because it's open here about what is happening. Anybody can calculate it. The last thing I think any marketer wants is to create a situation where the general public uh, have to pay hand over fist or over and beyond what the going rate for any product is. I think the resolution that we reached uh, today is, uh, is one that's, uh, that's amiable. And we look forward to working with the uh, with our, co with our, uh, our colleagues in the, in the aviation sector so that we continue to, uh, to deliver cost-efficient fuel. We have a basis and the best line uh, for us to work. Speaking about the minds of Nigerians, what they want and what will happen, and today it has happened. It's the positive side of it. Thank you very much. We will make our, our report available by the grace of God as early as tomorrow to the, for planning for, for them to consider. Uh, we thank you for this very wonderful uh, opportunity and thank God above all for the life, good health he has given us and the direction he has given us to solve this matter. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.